Okay, sure. I'm here okay. with my brother Chris. Hi. And we were going to share a family history memory of a big trip our family took the summer of 1969. We went on a big trip back east, so we're just going to talk about some of our memories. Okay. We were both just talking now about how we were so impressed that our mom did so much research in advance to figure out sites along the way that she wanted us to see that would match our route and so forth. I remember hearing that they had gotten some kind of extra money and they were thinking about, I mean I heard this later when I was older, and they were thinking about maybe upgrading the beds or something in the house, but they decided to use it for a big trip. Oh, that's did you know anything about that? No, I didn't know anything about that. We certainly could have used upgraded beds. I remember those striped brown mattresses that were just, it was just like a three and a half inch thick slab of foam, open cell polyurethane foam. It wasn't, it was, yeah, really we slept on, and I see him now, I, you know, Last time I saw him, I don't remember last time I saw him, but I remember just thinking, holy cow, no, I, I slept on that. We're... That was terrible. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're recording. We're recording. Okay, okay that's good. Good, good. Okay, so the trip. So you were eight, I was ten. Yeah, I turned eight on the trip. So my birthday is August 15th, and we were in Washington, D.C., and on my birthday, I believe we went to the Smithsonian, but we might have been in the FBI building. I don't remember, but I think it was in the Smithsonian. And I remember, so it was 1969, and so it was um, Apollo, you know, it was at the height of the Apollo program. So they had like an Apollo 8 docking thing, whatever. There was this huge line, and you waited in this huge line, and and I was so disappointed with it. You'd sit down and it had a simulator thing in front of you with a spaceship moving and um, and you would push the buttons that they told you to push and then the spaceships would dock and then they gave you this little card that says, you, you know, you're a junior astronaut, whatever, that because you did, but I was, I don't know, I, I expected it to be something more. I don't know why, but I remember I waited a long time in line for that. Um, and it was a little bit of a letdown. It was a little bit of a letdown, but uh, you know. Because your imagination soars high. But, well, it's certainly higher than what they had at the exhibit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I remember going the first leg of the trip was to Missouri. Cassville, Missouri. It was 36 hours of just straight Dry. driving. Yeah. And so, mom and dad must have traded off. Yeah, and Linda would have been 16, but I don't think she drove. Yeah, I think she turned 16 that, that December. December so yes, she so she wasn't quite of age to drive. Yeah. And Scott and I sat in the back, facing back. Of this Plymouth station wagon. 69 Plymouth Sport Satellite station wagon, blue, wood grain on the side. It had a 318 <laughs> engine, and it had one of those weird um, combination rear doors, you know, where... The window would go up and down, and then you could open it like a door. You right. could open it like a door, or you could fold it down like a tailgate. Right, yeah, that was a good combination. That's you could only fold it down like a tailgate if the window was in. Um, and the car had the car had power windows, and I remember at one point, Kathy was sticking her head out the window, and the window got rolled up. Oh, and it, and, and <laughs> On that trip? She, yeah, on that trip, and she was screaming like crazy, and yeah, yeah, on that trip. Yeah, so I remember going to that first leg of 36 hours. I remember stopping somewhere in Oklahoma for breakfast at a park or something. And then the rest... And it was route, it was route 66, at least part of the way. Yeah. And, um, and I remember, I want to say Texas, there was a big, like, steak bed trailer full of watermelons that had broken. Oh, wow. Do you remember that? No, I no. don't remember that. Big long trailer, and so the wheels at each end were holding whatever, but in the middle it had just broken. Oh my. It had just broken open, and there were watermelons all over the road. It was the road going the other direction, and I think they were, I think they were having problems with people stopping their cars and getting watermelons. Yeah, yeah well, I can see the temptation. Yeah, but the, road was all, the road was all wet, because apparently some watermelons had already been... Busted. Run over, right. busted, run over several times. Yeah. Some people. So, do you remember the fireflies at Cassville, Missouri? Yes. I had yeah, never seen a fire fireflies before. Yeah. They were very cool. Yeah, I remember thinking that was so cool. 
And I remember the first night that we slept there, or the day that we got there, I think it was in the, you know, it was the afternoon, I think it was light, when we got there, and I was showed to a bed, and I remember laying, and it was so still. Because there was no vibration, because I was leaning on Brenda's shoulder, or leaning on, you know, in the vibration of the car the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I just remember thinking, it's so still. <laughs> and you remember going to the Kellogg's factory? Yes, Battle Kellogg's? Creek, Michigan. <clears throat> yeah, we all got a little tiny box of cereal. Yeah, or a little pack of six or four. And I or got a spoon. I got a Tony the Tiger, I remember like a soup spoon. spoon. I remember that well, it, was, it was like a teaspoon, but it was a little bit rounder at the nose. But it had a Tony. It was Tony the Tiger. We got that. So we went. Um, and did we yep. see a car museum no, there in Detroit? Yeah. I think so. so I, I don't, you know, so I was only eight. Yeah, I Greenfield Village yeah. was the name of it. Yeah. yeah. And it was like a, a Henry Ford uh, museum or something. Okay. Okay. They had all kinds of old cars, like like curved dash Oldsmobile kind of, you know, old cars. Um, of course, the cars that we were driving then would be considered old cars now. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> yeah. So she checked out, you know, museums that we could see along the way. She knew that we could get a tour of the Kellogg cereal factory. And I remember seeing a huge mound of cornflakes, you know, probably 20 feet tall or something. I don't know. It looks big when you're only 10 years old. And you remember Niagara Falls? Yeah, Niagara Falls. And we did the thing right. where you go, they put you in a slicker and there's a tunnel that goes down and it's on one end of the Canadian side. It's on the end of the Canadian side of the falls that's away from the American side of the falls. And you go down and you come out this tunnel and you're right down at the bottom of the falls and they're just coming, you know, you see the water going right past you. Yeah, observation deck. Yeah, and they put you in this um, rain slicker because you get entirely drenched because the air is just completely full of spray. And so we went all over the place, right? We stopped in Cassville, Missouri. Right. And that was a, sh that was a, a short, Do we, that was a direct really trip from you L.A. Only, you only right. And then, and then after yeah, that, we would only go a little bit every day and right, stop right, at places right. along the way. And I don't remember yeah. the exact itinerary. Yeah. Somewhere there's a scrapbook. That's what I was wondering, yeah. I, think I don't know where that is. I wonder if Dad has yeah, it. 